might actually correct from the current uh, uh, current level okay uh, dhananjay uh, give us three or four mid cap names that you would be interested in now after the kind of collection that we have seen yeah i don't know whether you know i see the, the way i'm really looking at is that uh, the mid cap um, names might actually undergo uh, some amount of uh, correction uh, so i think the the way we are looking at it is is to really play a mix of uh, mid cap and large cap together so in the banking space uh, we have been uh, saying that uh, we were liking icic bank it has undergone a certain amount of correction over the last week i um, last week so essentially the there is a possibility that one should actually uh, look at uh, uh, you know gardening that again uh, we in the mid cap name we were liking uh, fed bank federal bank um, uh, otherwise uh, in the banking space we were also liking lic housing and bob bob again is one stock in the psu banking space we where we were like uh, which we were liking that has undergone a certain amount of correction we believe that for further correction would uh should be considered as an opportunity to actually buy uh in the uh, we continue to be uh, overweight on on uh, it and the pharma space so in the it space uh, we had uh, infosys as a pick um, you are telling me that there has been a correction there but i suppose that uh, tcs could actually surprise uh, given the context that uh, the infosys numbers do intend indicate that uh, there is a certain positivity with respect to the us business and discretionary spend um, uh, so i think it is possible that tcs might actually show a uh, show similar kind of trend possibly uh, tcs will also show robust numbers for for the europe europe geography uh, apart from that uh, uh, you know we see idfc seem to be the beneficiary from the budget uh, provision where in the banking sector has been given a certain liberal uh, consideration for uh, the statutory uh, obligation with respect to crr slr etc that it will continue to sh- uh, see interest from the investors consumers name uh, we believe that the budget is actually uh, uh, sufficiently supportive of consumption uh, with re- with a with, with the emphasis that it has given on social schemes and the rural areas so uh, it does uh, imply that some of the consumer the consumer name should actually do well so over here we are highlighting uh, colgate uh, and uh, within the agri name we have been bullish on dcm as a positive cash flow story uh, the emphasis on on infrastructure and roads etc uh, is there which is something that one 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 was expecting from the budget and, and the current government we believe that there will be a positive spillover for the cement sector and we have identified acc as a stock which is uh, which is uh, uh, very cheaply priced and it should actually benefit uh, within the psu names uh, uh, we believe that there will be a, a large amount of supplies and we have seen that the budget is allocated about 63000 uh, crores worth of disinvestment Uh, uh including the pure decision investment of about 45 or uh, 47000 crores mm. uh, so we believe that there will there will be a significant supply there so over there what we are saying is to really consider stocks where reforms can actually happen in a realistic manner rather than looking at this investment as a sure. overall theme uh, so we are saying that avoid cyclical so we are saying uh, we we are saying uh, we would go underweight bail and uh, look at buying ongc okay fair enough lot of stocks there dhananjay thank you very much for joining in with all of your uh, detail